This is the story of the Tour de France favorites. It is Team Yumbo Visma versus Team Enios. Team Enios, they have been the team to beat at the last decade of the Tour de France. They really are what created the term super team. But we are not seeing the Team Enios this year that we are used to. We're not going to have infighting amongst British champions trying to win the Tour de France. Garen Thomas and Chris Froome, they have been left off the roster and all bets are on Egan Bernal. And it, it's just going to be a different structure for Ineos than we're used to. We have Luke Rowe, who is, I think, really going to be the backbone of this team. He has been at every Tour de France start for Ineos since 2015. And then in recent years, they've brought in Mikel Kwiatkowski, Jonathan Castroviejo uh, into the fold, and Dylan Van Barl. So these are all lieutenants who are reliable, but the the real leadership of the team is kind of gone. And in its place is Egan Bernal, who won the tour last year, of course, and he's going to be flanked by Andre Amador and Richard Carapaz, two new signings from Movistar. And I have to say, Movistar, they just couldn't be a more different team than Ineos. And to have, you know, two brand new riders from Movistar who have not raced that much with Ineos in 2020 because the season has just been a mess. I think that there are just going to be some question marks about how they integrate into this super regimented mountain suffocating structure that Team Ineos has. It's just two different styles of racing. But that said, I have no reason to doubt Egan Bernal's ability to win the Tour de France again. It's just going to be under different circumstances. I said, his uh, showing at the Criterium du Dauphiné raised some questions. He pulled out with a bad back, and he just frankly didn't look as sharp as the Yumbo Visma riders. He launched an attack on the finale of Stage 2, and Sepp Kuss and Primoz Roglic just were not bothered by it whatsoever. So... You know, what Yumbo Visma's form is going to do in the early part of the Tour de France and what Team Ineos' form is going to do throughout the Tour de France, it's going to be really interesting because right now Yumbo Visma is going in hot and Team Ineos, they have a little bit of work to do.